hi guys so in this video i'm going to be showing you some tips you can incorporate in your painting process to paint him out which is going to look your painting look realistic so without any further ado let's just jump right in so the first tip is not even a tip it's just a suggestion is to use this brush called the tattoo inker and the reason why we're using this brush is because it's pressure sensitive and if not if your default setting is not allowing you to be pressure sensitive with your color then you're gonna go ahead to the settings hit advanced and just decrease flow with pressure and opacity with pressure this is just gonna make it a perfect brush for this painting you can actually use this setting in just any brush but i just like this brush because it has a little bit of texture in it the next tip is to add the base color for the lip but in a way where you're not painting it with just one color meaning as i just suggested you guys to use a brush which is pressure sensitive meaning when you put a lot of pressure it creates or it gives you a lot of pigmentation when you put a light pressure it gives you very less pigmentation so in this case what you want to do is you don't want to paint the whole lip shape with just one color meaning it should be lighter somewhere it should be darker somewhere and because we are using a pressure sensitive brush this is just gonna make it easier for us to add a lot of pigment in one area and to add less pigment in other areas and this way it does not look flat so that's how you want to create the base color for the lips okay it shouldn't be just one color meaning it shouldn't be pigmented overall okay the next tip is to actually add darker or paint darker areas first before you go ahead with the shading part of the lips because this helps in deciding how darker our shadows are going to look okay so in this case because we are painting the whole mouth i painted that dark mouth area okay i also kind of shaded the teeth as well now this dark color is going to guide me into deciding how much darker i should keep my shadows okay so this is an amazing tip not just for painting lips just to paint anything if you're painting a portrait i would suggest you painting the darker areas first because again it helps in deciding how much darker your shadows should be basically deciding the contrast for the painting the next step is to always make sure you are adding a combination of harsh and soft shadows meaning your lip painting should have harsh looking shadows shadows which aren't completely blended okay so in this case i added those right at the bottom lip and also here and there on the upper lip as well this this actually gives your painting that natural looking finish so you want to make sure there's a combination of both soft and harsh looking shadows and this brush is perfect for that now it was too harsh so what i did is i added that shadow and i also went ahead with colorless brush just to make sure it's not completely harsh to the point where it's just looking stupid so i just made sure that i really lightly blended those um, edges those harsh edges but in a way where it's still keeping its harshness okay so that's another tip again not just limited to lip paintings but any kind of paintings you create the next tip is to add saturated color right in the middle of the lips okay it doesn't really matter what color lips you're painting make sure you're adding some sort of saturated color in the middle of the lips it can be lighter in color it doesn't really matter if you're painting a darker toned um, lips you might want to add some lighter color in the middle part of the lip but make sure it's slightly saturated than the shadows and this actually makes the whole painting look that much more natural because of the whole blood circulation thing that goes on within our lips right it's like maybe it's higher in the middle of the lips that's why that area is usually more saturated if not um, red it's more saturated so that's what we're trying to achieve here the next tip is to make sure you're adding a combination of subtle and highly pigmented highlights meaning because we're using a pressure sensitive brush it's going to be easy to achieve that look without having to use any blending brush so for subtle highlights you're gonna put really light pressure on the screen so this way we're gonna get white color yes but it's not gonna be that highly pigmented it's not gonna be that vibrant and harsh looking but we're also gonna add highly pigmented highlights as well and for that we're gonna put more pressure onto the screen and that way we're gonna get that white vibrant color you want to make sure it's a combination of that that way it looks really really good do not just add these white 
highly pigmented dots here and there they look good yes i've seen paintings that look good but if you are going for a natural looking realistic looking painting make sure it's a combination of subtle and highly pigmented highlights i have an in-depth tutorial on highlights by the way that i'll be linking down the description box below but it's really easy if you are using the right brush and the brush we are using is free it's amazing i almost um every time i just find myself using this brush okay this brush is really good for everything also make sure you're adding some highlights some some of that white color or whatever highlight color you're choosing around the mouth area as well all right and those are some tips that i always make sure i'm incorporating when i'm painting the mouth not just the mouth other paintings as well but mostly the mouth lips all right if you want me to create an in-depth tutorial on how to sketch mouth like from the from scratch i will be really happy to make that but do let me know what you guys think about this video if this was helpful or not if the tips i've I gave you give those a try and let me know if they're helping you in a process or not okay but yeah that is it for today's video today's little class i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up but i would really like to know if you found this video helpful or not but other than that i will see you guys in my next video